Okay, people, I have hooked into a pretty good log here. Let's see what my little Chinese vice grips can do. Maybe I can explode them. Let's see if we can reel this switch in. measure it for you. It's looking like I lost my dog on tape measure. Dropped out of the cab. Alrighty, so I got this thing trimmed up. That's a 12 inch foot right there. Haven't found my tape measure, so why don't we just plot it out with my boots? <coughs> figure out here what can you pull with a choker and a vice grip well let's just round it up and call it 60. And there's the choker there's a little scrap of handrail barely even welded and there's the vice grip that is clamping that in there I'm not joking and the funniest thing is that this stupid hodgepodge ugly attachment you know what I originally built this thing for a lawnmower a John Deere 140 garden tractor that was the ripping blade this little box right here it still even has the mounts. Believe it or not, it'll still fit. But that was a Scarifier blade that I made for a, a 140 garden tractor, 16 horsepower. And the garden tractor was down, and I got a, a Kubota full size, well, you know, 30 horse Kubota two wheel drive category one hitch tractor. And I needed to be able to skid logs, and I wanted a winch, and I wanted the teeth to hold the thing when I was winching so I could winch in neutral. And because uh, the brakes, you know, weren't going to hold. So I sacrificed this thing <clears throat> and uh, welded this little bit of framework on top with notches to hook chains and a receiver hitch for the winch. And then I said, well, gee, it'd be better if I could winch from up higher. So I put this stupid tower on just to see if that would work. And also to kind of act as a roll bar because I figured if the machine goes over and crushes me, that's no good. So if I put a big, if I put a big, ugly six foot high tower then I could winch logs you know up higher I mean there's a pulley right there so I'm not pulling them in from that height it would flip the machine but I can park the machine anchor the teeth into the dirt and I can winch from six feet high to, to bring a few logs in and then I could hook them with chains and raise the three-point and off I go and then that just couldn't pull you know freaking 30 horse two-wheel drive tractor ain't pulling 60 foot oaks so i had to do something with the dozer 
I don't have all the parts to put my big winch on the dozer yet. So I looked at this and I looked at that and I said, you know, I can probably graft some crap on there. And the baskets were just to carry my saws and my junk because there's nowhere to put them on a tractor. So this stupid thing, I know it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. But you can make money in timber like that. That ain't what stopped me from making money. This shit forest from a high grade, from a bunch of high graders, that's what's stopping me from making money. There ain't hardly any white oak left, and what is is trash. So what's here is pin oak and post oak, which is notoriously hollow. You know, on this mountain ground, it's full of mineral, and it's just always hollow, twisty, crooked. The best you get out of it is a switch tie. The best you get out of it is a switch tie. <clears throat> and most of them won't make that because they're mineral. So a lot of this stuff is getting cut and it's going straight to pallet. I know that sounds stupid, but this ground will never grow anything good if it doesn't get cut. So I'm dozing it. You know, I'm root raking it pretty hard. I'm pushing up piles of brush because I'm leasing this for goats. And I want the goats to be able to get in there in that brush pile and, and lay down and get out of the wind and get out of the sun. And, uh, you know, I'll plant some... I'll plant some uh, clover and cereal grains and pasture grass out here. And at least it'll grow something. Because growing sourwood and twisty old gum and maple, that ain't doing nobody no favors. I tap maple syrup every every now and then. I like to tap maple syrup, so I'm keeping maples with promise. But for the most part, I'm going to eradicate them. <clears throat> and uh, let this place grow something good for a little while. Can't make no money off of hollow rotted out timber. Anyway, I'm going to set this camera up and see if I can make this turn. Because I, I don't know. I'm going uphill here. It's pretty greasy. I'll probably make a fool of myself trying to make this turn. But let me set it up. It's not the vice grip's fault. It just popped my little crap weld off. I don't know where the vice grip is. That went off into the stratosphere, but let me pause you and rig up a chain and see if I can't snap a big chain or rip the attachment off the back.
Well, it's gonna hit a maple that I wanna keep. It's not gonna make the turn unless I smack that little tree right there. It's just, I guess I'm just wasting time being dumb. Obviously, we all know I could have cut it and been out of here 15 minutes ago. So, why don't I just smarten up and go do that instead?